Hi, I'm Dr. Swarchla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Today, I'm going to explain about the procedure of IUI, intrauterine insemination. What is this about? How is it uh, done? Is it a surgical procedure? Do we do it in the operation theater? All these things we are going to be discussing. So, to understand IUI, very briefly understand your reproductive system, the female reproductive system. This is the uterus. This is the entrance, which is called as the cervix. The uterus is connected to two tubes which have ends over here. Can you see those finger-like projections? It's like a hollow tube which uh, has these open projections and there is an ovary right close to it. So this is happening on both sides. You are born with millions of eggs and if you are not able to achieve pregnancy naturally, having tried for one year with unprotected intercourse, if you are 30 years or lesser, then after that you should definitely get yourself investigated and if you're planning for pregnancy definitely you should start treatment in the treatment protocols one of the most important uh, treatments uh, is called as iui intrauterine insemination so this is the first line of treatment uh, after ovulation induction after tracking of your follicles and timing your intercourse if all of those things are not working then we move on to intrauterine insemination so what's happening now your brain is producing enough hormones follicle stimulating hormone, luteinizing hormone, estrogen, progesterone, everything for one single egg to grow and ovulate. In IUI, we try to give a little more dose from outside so that we grow one or another one, maybe one or two eggs for a better success rate. So these hormones are given in the form of injectables or oral medications. When you take this, eggs start to grow, but only one or two become dominant, become big and mature and for them to ovulate also injections are given this is called as a trigger it's basically human chorionic gonadotrophin hormone when this is given the egg ovulates from your ovaries and is picked up by these open finger-like projections of the tube now you understand the importance of these finger-like projections it has to be open it it has a nice flowing movement due to which the egg is picked up into the tube when the egg is picked up into the tube it waits in the tubes for about 8 to 12 hours it is viable it is mature after which it degenerates it dies so to say now what's happening is because we have tracked your growth of egg and the release of egg the procedure of iui is also timed 36 hours after this trigger injection is given this trigger to release the egg is given iui procedure is carried around your husband's or partner's sperms are collected in the laboratory and they are processed now dead sperms or uh, morphologically poor sperms immotile sperms debris in the sa sample semen is also separated from just good sperms good motile sperms are taken morphologically good that is shape wise they are good uh, motility wise they are good these sperms are taken and they are then injected into your uterus with a very thin tube a very thin tube is taken and it is injected into your uterus so what is the difference when you try naturally your sperms are ejaculated outside into the use cervix uh, inside the vagina of course and in iui we are releasing sperms inside your uterus so the advantage is that the distance for the sperms has reduced it has to swim shorter distance to reach the egg and to fertilize it so IUI is a very useful procedure because of which a success rates can in increase from about no results to 10 to 15 percent. But there are some very important factors. Your tubes have to be open. You have to be ovulating. You have to have a good uh, response to the medications that are given. Not only this, your husband's or partner's uh, sperms also have to be good. We look at concentration. Concentration of sperms have to be a minimum of 10 million per ml. Now. Uh, it could be more which is very good but a minimum of 10 million is what is required for better results for at least these 10 to 15 percent results to come so 10 million per ml is what we are looking at motility is something very important motility is the ability of the sperms to move progressively to move forward so around 40 to 50 percent is what 50 percent is what we are looking at so in 100 sperms about 40 to 50 have to be very rapidly progressively moving forward then we look at morphology that is to say the shape of the sperms this is also very important the morphology of the sperm has to be at least four to six percent as in 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 about 
100 sperms at least 4 to 6 have to be normal then the sperm the capacity of the sperms to fertilize the egg is also increased we need to talk about something very important it's called as total motile sperm count this is of very great importance especially when we are talking about a ui now total motile sperm count is calculated by the concentration of the sperms into the volume of the entire ejaculate it could be 2 ml 3 ml 0.5 ml etc into the the motility the progressive motility the complete motility of the sperms so it is uh, has to be calculated so that we know the value which can give us the best possible results now it has been estimated by statistical analysis and by various control studies that a minimum of 10 million 10 million total motile sperm count has to be there so concentration into the motility into the volume of the ejaculate this gives us the total motile sperm count if the sperm values are close to these numbers then the success rate is highest so you can understand this is a timed procedure once the egg has ovulated around 36 hours or 38 hours later we have to inseminate uh, your partner's sperms into your uterus after which progesterone medications are given to support the endometrial growth once the embryo has formed then it comes into the uterus and implants for which the endometrium also has to be prepared so these are all uh, it's like an orchestra it's not just one instrument everything has to work well your ovaries your tubes your uterus has to be good your partner's sperms have to be good as well everything together then will give us a success rate of about 15 to 20 percent if you wish to understand more about iui please feel free to contact us thank you a lot of effort has gone into making this video please like and subscribe us thank you